Hey everyone, this is Ross. We're gonna be looking at the apples today. I have my second apple variety here that's ripening. We're gonna taste it. I'm gonna see what the deal is with these apples. Um, I think today, it's pretty early to be getting apples. Today is only August um, 23rd, I believe. We had our first variety called Pristine. We did a video on that. The Pristine apple is actually over here and it ripened quite a few. It tastes a lot like apple juice, lemony apple juice. And it has a really awesome aroma. I even smelled it from maybe even like six feet away. I didn't even knew it fell off, off the tree. But the aroma was so strong that it was hard not to notice the apple. This one also has a really awesome aroma. I mean, I, I don't normally smell my fruit, but the apples at the store do not smell like this, guys. This is just something different. It's really like a candle. Um, <laughs> you know, like a fake candle smell that... But it actually exists, and I think that's really awesome. But these trees in these rows that we planted out this spring really haven't been doing that well, and I'm kind of just letting them adapt here, letting them, you know, get themselves really into this location. We had a number of them in pots. We had some of them actually right here. We had some in the front of the house planted, uh, and they just really have not been doing well this year. But you know, you can see there's some new growth, and that's good to see. Because um, these trees really were struggling in the beginning of the year. A lot of them got aphids. You can see there's a lot of cedar apple rust and different, you know, different issues with the, with the leaves on these trees. Even though we got some nice morning sun, this doesn't really get sun all day. They just really have been struggling. I think it has a lot to do with the fact that these are just on weak root systems, guys. This is like um, dwarf dwarf rootstocks. I really just don't like them at all. I'd rather have one standard and graft all these varieties to one tree that's more healthy, more vigorous, that adapts better. Uh, this to me is a joke and the only way that you could ever really make it work, I think, it's kind of a gimmick in a way. I, that's really how I feel about it. It's kind of a gimmick to backyard growers. It's not really something you want, but the only way you can make it work is if you put them in this high density and that's what we kind of have is we have two rows and each row has, I think, 10 trees in it. Um, and we space them really close. Each hole has two trees. So this is really the only way that, in my opinion, you can kind of get this whole system to really be worth it. Otherwise, one tree is really the way to go. Maybe even two standards, you know, in this whole area here, and I've talked about this, guys. I don't want to harp on it too much, but that's just the goal with these. It's really to get them adapt. I don't even know if I want to prune them. I kind of just want to let them do their thing and dig in a bit and get this comfrey down in here. You know, we can even chop and drop this pretty soon, but I kind of want the comfrey to fill in underneath all these trees. I want to put down cardboard very soon and put down lots of wood chips wherever there isn't comfrey. Really build the fertility over here because these you know, these standard trees, these standard apples have such shallow root systems. It's crazy. So, um, really just trying to get them adapted. But in the meantime, if they're going to give me something like this, I'm excited. So I want to try this now. I think this is, like I said, maybe I, maybe I didn't mention it, but it came off of, I think this tree right here off of this branch. And this is my zest star apple. And I'm not entirely sure <laughs> if it was that tree because we came out here and it was on the ground um, and that's kind of how I like to pick these things is let them fall off that's when you know they're ready but some of them it may not be a great idea right you kind of have to put them in storage for a bit maybe cool them down a bit um, that's when they really get their flavor some of these but uh, you know we're gonna try this now it's not the most scientific apple tasting here but I want to I'm really curious to see what this what this apple is all about. Like I said, the aroma is pretty nuts. It's really like an awesome candle. Um, we also had our pristine apple. I think we met, we may have mentioned that. I'm losing my mind here, guys. But the pristine was able to ripen, I think in early July, late June. It's super early for a summer apple. Th whatever this is, is definitely a summer apple. I think Zestar is a summer apple, or maybe it's um, wine set, but I don't think it's wine sap, to be honest with you. I think it's more zest star, but we'll see. We'll taste this thing. It's got nice color to it, mostly yellow. It's got some nice red on one side. Not the ugliest apple, but definitely has some spotting that probably wouldn't do well in the store, but let's taste it.
Huh. Wow. That's really good, guys. Man. Definitely one of the sweeter apples I've ever had. I think because it's so ripe. It tastes so fresh. And the aroma, you immediately pick that up as soon as you bite into it. It's really got a nice flavor to it. Man, that's really good, guys. I'm going to turn you around. Before I let you guys go, I'm going to give you a nice little... Nice little shot here of the apple trees in this area. This is all of them right here. And you can see the comfrey underneath. Really fills in nicely and, and I've found over the years, it really actually adds fertility to whatever's growing next to the comfrey. It's kind of crazy. Um, so it really helps things grow and I, I'm really happy to actually have this down in, underneath here especially because I didn't even plant it. But um, yeah, we'll get this top row back behind it, some comfrey later in the, you know, the years here. And we'll also try to get as much material, as much biomass as we can underneath these trees to help get them a healthier root system. This whole area here has kind of been neglected for the most part. We've been just kind of letting these things do their thing. Um, so yeah, this was Ross, guys. This is a really tasty apple. I mean, I can't really say there's much acidity to it. The texture is nice. It's kind of like a Macintosh in a way. And I know a lot of people don't like that Macintosh texture, but I do. It's a really good apple, guys. Yeah. All right. Mostly sweet, but I think it's great. Uh, anyway, guys, we'll talk to you soon. See it for tomorrow's video, all right? And uh, check us out on uh, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And check out the new website, figboss.com. That's really, we changed the website, uh, trying to get all different things and different traffic over there. We're going to try to update the blog. I know we've been saying this for a bit, but uh, I mean it. So, all right. Take care, everyone. Again, we'll see you soon.